Hello and welcome to Disboxing, the place for assistive tech reviews. And today we have an app for you called Note Talker, which can help make the process of detailed note taking in education and the workplace a much more pleasurable experience. So if you haven't come across audio note taking applications before, you probably want to take a look at our beginner's guide to audio note taking, which you can find here or in the details below. But in a nutshell, audio note taking allows you to be more present in your meeting or lecture, not having to multitask writing, typing, listening, asking questions and working out what part of the conversation will be important when you come back to looking at your notes. There are a few audio note taking applications on the market, but in this video we're going to talk you through Note Talker Edit. In my Note Talker mobile app video, I showed you how to make more user-friendly enhanced audio files on your phone by adding markers and images. You can add more detail to and further edit these files by exporting them to the Note Talker Edit desktop app via Dropbox, OneDrive or iCloud. You can also import standard audio files recorded externally on something like a digital voice recorder or standalone mobile app. As you can see, when I open the enhanced audio file in the Note Talker Edit app, all of the images and markers I captured on my phone are automatically inserted. With Note Talker Edit, there are two main areas for you to interact with your enhanced audio files. The timeline near the top of the screen and the text plane below. In the timeline you can see the markers that we decided were important when we were making the recording in the mobile app. The great thing about this system versus a standard audio file is that I don't have to listen to my recording in real time to find the information that I want. I can go directly to information I flagged as important earlier. The images that you've captured are also added to the text plane in relation to the markers. If you didn't have time to capture images during your meeting, you can upload photos or images directly from a PowerPoint deck if you have access to one. As well as the timeline view, each marker has a text plane which allows you to create more detailed notes on the sections you identified as important. You can write in bullet points if you're creating minutes for a meeting or revision, or transcribe sections if you're looking to extract quotes from an interview. If you imported a standard audio file or require extra sections, you can create extra markers and text planes. Being dyslexic, rather than just relying on text to navigate through my notes, colour coding allows me to identify sections by theme or topic based on their colour. For instance, I can colour all of my notes that need further research in green. Not only does this make it easier to identify sections by sight, but it allows you to filter notes so you only see the sections of interest displayed. So as you can see, Note Talker Edit can help you make your audio notes a much more useful and user-friendly resource. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Note Talker Edit comes with a whole host of tools that can allow you to make the most of your audio notes. You can add audio tags to your notes if you're not keen on typing, create new versions of audio files from filtered notes, and upload your audio to Note Talker's note taking service which creates a comprehensive set of notes based on the bookmarks you've created. To learn more about these features watch out for our tips and tricks videos which will be coming soon. There's more information about those in the description below. Or subscribe to this channel to know when new shows are uploaded. But until next time I've been Sean Douglas, this is Disboxing and I'll see you next time.